Hi, it's Chester at Blue Peak and Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to look at how to transfer or convert data that is currently in Word and take it over into Excel. I've got two sets of data. And the first is this document here, bank statement. And you can see that there's no obvious tabular structure to this particular document. So this will require one method. The second example that I'll show you how to import or convert into Excel is where we do have an obvious structure to our data. And for this, you can use a slightly simpler method. Okay, let's start with this slightly trickier example. The first step is to save this document as a text file. So if I go to File, Save As, I'm going to save the document within the same folder. But I'm going to change the file type to plain text.txt. Click on save. In this file conversion dialog box, I can just go straight to OK. And then I'm going to open up Microsoft Excel. So I have a blank workbook in Microsoft Excel. I go to the data tab on my ribbon. And in the get and transform data group, I'm going to click from text CSV. And I'm going to browse to the document. And here's my text file. Select it, click on import. As you can see, this opens up a preview of my data. If in the preview, your data looks fine, you can just click on load. We need to do a little bit of work here, getting rid of these blank columns. So I'm gonna click on transform data. This opens up the Power Query Editor and I can just right click on these columns and remove them. And then I can click on close and load, the top left here. And it imports the data into Microsoft Excel. Okay, let's move on to our second example where the data is obviously within a table structure. You can always check whether your data is within a table. If you click into your table, you should be able to see two contextual tabs on Word's ribbon, table design and layout. You want to see the grid lines on your table, just go to layout and you've got second button in view grid lines that toggles the grid lines on and off. But seeing the grid lines makes it really obvious that this is in a table. Now to convert or transfer this to words, very easy. What I do is I click up on this little control top left of the table that selects the table. Control C to copy, switch back to Microsoft Excel. I'm going to click on this extra sheet and I'm just going to paste my data in control V. Now I need to do a little bit of work in terms of the width of the columns and the height of the rows. So let's do that now. But you can see without too much difficulty, I've managed to import the data into Excel without the need for Power Query. So I've given you two different methods for importing Word data into Excel. That's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you have, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.